everyone, I'm Teacher Michelle and welcome to another episode of Unang Math. For this episode, I will be discussing the topic about the property of parallel lines. In our previous episode, we already studied corresponding angles and alternate interior angles. This pair of angles are paired by comparing the positions of those angles form in the first line with those angles form in the second line. I've mentioned that those pair of angles are not equal in measure. The only condition for those pair of angles to be equal in measure is the two lines that the transversal intersected with must be parallel lines. So if the two lines are parallel lines, then corresponding angles and alternate interior angles are equal in measure. Okay, let's give an example. In this figure, we can see that line L and line M are not parallel lines. Okay, angle A, this angle, and angle E, this angle, are corresponding angles. Since these two lines are not parallel lines, then the measure of angle A is not equal to the measure of angle E. Okay, another example. Angle B, okay, we have angle B and angle H. These angles are alternate interior angles. Since these two lines are not parallel lines, then the measure of angle B is not equal to the measure of angle H. Okay, what about in this figure? We can see that line L and line M are parallel lines. Okay, angle A and angle E are corresponding angles. Since these two lines are parallel lines, then the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle E. Okay, angle B and angle F are also corresponding angles. So these two angles are also equal in measure. So angle B is also equal to angle F. Okay, angle C and angle G are also corresponding angles. So angle C is also equal to angle G. Okay, angle D and angle H are also corresponding angles. Since these two lines are parallel lines, then angle D is also equal to angle H. Okay, what about angle C and angle E? Okay, since these two lines are parallel lines and angle C and angle E are alternate interior angles, then that means angle C is also equal to angle E. Same with angle B and angle H. These are alternate interior angles. So these angles are also equal in measure. Okay, let's have this another example here. When two lines, L and M, intersect with another line, okay, in this figure, we have two lines, L and M. These two lines intersect with this transversal line N. If line L and M are parallel, then the corresponding angles are equal in measure. So line L and line M are parallel lines. So angle A... And angle B, these are corresponding angles. And these angles are equal in measure. Okay, number two. The alternate interior angles are also equal in measure since line L and line M are parallel lines. So angle A is equal to angle C because angle A and angle C are alternate interior angles. Okay, take note that when we are talking about vertical angles, vertical angles are always equal in measure. But the corresponding angles 
and the alternate interior angles are equal only when two lines are parallel lines. Okay, this time let's answer this concept check question. So in the following figure, we have to find the measure of angle A and angle B. When line M and line L are parallel lines. So line L, this line, and this line are parallel lines. Okay, let's answer the first figure. So here is angle A and B. So angle A and angle B. So we have to find the measure of angle A. This angle and angle A are corresponding angles. L and M are parallel lines. That means angle A is also 40 degrees. So A is 40 degrees. Okay, what about angle B? This is a straight line and straight line measures 180 degrees. So to find angle B, this is angle A. So to find angle B, 180 degrees minus 40 degrees. So that is equal to 140 degrees. So angle B is 140 degrees. Okay, let's go to the second figure. This is a bit confusing because there are two transversals. But for you not to be confused, you are just going to consider the transversal where you can find the angle that you are looking for. Okay, since we are looking for angle A, okay, we will just consider this line or this transversal. So what is the measure of angle A? Okay, if you are going to take a look at this one, this angle A is equal to this angle. Why? Because L and M are parallel lines. Okay, we know that the measure of this angle is 110 degrees. This is a straight line. So to find the measure of this angle, 180 minus 110, then that's equal to 70 degrees. So that means this angle is 70 degrees. This angle and angle A are corresponding angles. So angle A is also 70 degrees. So A is 70 degrees. Okay, now, what about angle B? Okay, since we're looking for angle B, okay, we will just consider this transversal. So what's the measure of angle B? Okay, this angle and this angle are corresponding angles. Okay, we know that this is 70 degrees. So to find the measure of angle B, 50 plus 70, that's equal to 120. That means angle B is 120 degrees. So this is 120 degrees. Okay, now let's answer this simple activity. So in the following figure, we will find the measure of angle A and angle B. When line L and line M are parallel lines. Okay, let's take a look at the first figure. So where's angle A? This angle. And this is angle B. So what is the measure of angle A? Okay, if you're going to take a look at this one, L and M are parallel lines. Angle A and this angle are corresponding angles. This is 45 degrees. That means this is also 45 degrees. So A is 45 degrees. Okay, what about angle B? This is a straight line. And straight line measures 180 degrees. So to find the measure of angle B, 180 degrees minus 45 degrees, that's equal to 135 degrees. So angle B is 135 degrees. Okay, let's move on to the second figure. Okay, where's angle A? This angle. 
we have two transversals. Okay, again, for us not to be confused, we will just consider the transversal where we can find the angle that we are looking for. So that means first we will consider this transversal. So we are going to find the measure of this angle. Okay, this angle corresponds to this angle. And if the measure of this angle, uh, the measure of this angle must be equal to the measure of this angle because L and M are parallel lines. Okay, we know the measure of this angle. It's 120 degrees. This is a straight line. Straight line measures 180 degrees. So 180 minus 120, that means this is 60 degrees. Since this angle and this angle are equal, so A is also 60 degrees. So A is 60 degrees. Okay, now, what about angle B or this angle? Okay, angle A is 60 degrees. Okay, now let's consider this transversal because we can find angle B in this line. Okay, since we're looking for this angle, okay, take a look at this angle. This is equal to this angle. Since these two lines are parallel lines, whatever measure we get here, it's also the same with this angle. Okay, this is 60. This is 60. That's equal to 120. Since this is a straight line, so 100. Uh, 180 minus 120 then that means this is 60 degrees so this is also 60 degrees so B is also 60 degrees okay another way to find the measure of this angle is okay if we're going to, to, to take a look at this one we can find its alternate interior angle so where is the alternate interior angle? This angle. So the measure of this angle must be equal to the measure of this angle. This angle is 60 degrees. This is 60 degrees. This is a straight line, so this is 180 degrees. 60 plus 60 is 120. 180 minus 120, then that means this is 60 degrees. So that means this is also 60 degrees. Okay. There's another way on how to find the area or how to find the angle measure of this angle. Okay, consider that this is a triangle. Okay, this is a straight line. We know that this is 120 degrees. So that means 180 minus 120. So this angle is 60 degrees. Okay, the total measure of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees so 60 plus 60 120 180 minus 120 so this is 60 degrees so there are many ways on how to find the measure of one angle so b is 60 degrees